So I went down to Massachusetts for something called Hong. It's a festival of activist street bands. And I was going down there to take photos and to shoot video. Now, I don't do that as my job anymore. I used to be a professional videographer. I used to be a professional podcast producer. But now I mostly direct other people doing that kind of work. So I was a little bit nervous about what to bring and how it would all go. I'm going to share with you how I decided what to bring, what I packed, what I used, and how I got the pictures I got and the video that I got. I'm going to explain it all because for me, this YouTube channel is about adventures and mini adventures, things like going to take photos of an activist street band in Boston or climbing Mount Washington and staying at the Lake of the Clouds hut or doing a Spartan race or just going for a hike in my backyard. It's about spending more time outdoors. It's about being curious and creative and engaged. Let's start by talking about packing. What do I pack? For me, I think about a lot of things and maybe I overthink it. I went through my stuff a bunch of times and what I was thinking about is, do I need to be fast and light? Do I have a place to stash my stuff and go back to, or do I need to carry everything with me? And do I want kind of high production values, or do I want to be able to get places quickly and easily? Am I going to be shooting mostly video or taking mostly photographs? These are all things that require slightly different sets of equipment, ways of thinking about the shoot. And so I'll tell you what I started out packing. I started out kind of overpacking. I put a bunch of things in a knapsack. I brought my Sony camera. It's an Alpha 6500. It's a pretty old mirrorless camera, but it looks great and it's full frame and, and I have a couple of great lenses for it. So I took that camera and my two favorite lenses, my two best quality lenses. I took my GoPro. I took a tripod. I took microphones and I took lots of spare batteries. Of course, my camera is old, so I had to bring a little piece of Gorilla Tape so that I can get the batteries out of the battery compartment when they get stuck in there. The leaves are really loud today, so I'm going to try sitting still on this rock. The other thing I thought about was how to access the camera. So if you have a camera in a knapsack, it's really hard to get out. So I had the peak clip on the backpack strap so that I can have the camera hanging there and get it out quickly for photos. So thanks to Google Maps, it wasn't that hard to find where I needed to go. But once I got there, my first question was, is there a place I can stash equipment? There was. The band I was working with, the band my brother's in, had a space where they could leave their instrument cases. So that was great to know. I had an easily accessible place, about 10 minute walk from where I'd be shooting, where I could leave extra stuff. So knowing that, I regrouped and went out to think about what do I need for the first location? So at the first location I needed, um, I wanted my main camera, that Sony camera and the two lenses, cause I wasn't sure if I'd want a more of a zoom lens, like to shoot from further away or a wide angle lens to get right in there close to the action. I wanted to bring both of those. I wanted to bring the GoPro because I wanted to be able to get action. I didn't want to bring the whole backpack. It was heavy. It had so many extra batteries. So I just grabbed a couple of extra batteries and I had, um, a little fanny pack that I could keep the one extra lens, spare batteries, and that's about it in that. And then I carried the camera in my hand and I put the GoPro in my pants pocket and I headed out. As the event started, I really wasn't sure how much video I'd be getting and how many photos. In the end, it was mostly photos. Here's what was really cool about shooting a street band. They're playing right there in the street and their audience is like at the same level and in the same space as them. But in the beginning, there was like this force field. There was an empty space between the band and the audience. As the show got more and more raucous and the crowd got fired up and people got involved and started dancing and the band got more activated, they started coming closer and closer together. And that's when it was really fun to have the wide angle lens because with the wide angle lens, you really have to get in close to get the action. Um, with a zoom lens, you can get that really close up feel from far away. But with the wide angle lens, you get that full action and a really different feel, but you have to be able to be in real physical proximity. 
And so once everything loosened up, I was able to put the wide angle lens and get right in there. And that was super fun because you're actually, as a photographer, kind of part of the action. And I wasn't distracting because they were just dancing and the interaction between the band and the crowd was um, so just lively and raucous that I wasn't in the way by jumping in between. So then I kind of knew what I was doing. And what I decided at that point was video, I'd grab some clips on the GoPro that I could give to the band that they could use on their social media. But mostly I was gonna focus on photography because that was where I could really capture the moment better. I know that sounds funny because it's music, um, but I wasn't there to record whole songs. So once I knew that, the next time we took a break, I kind of repacked and stripped down to just the things I needed and went back out. But then the second day was the parade and I thought I'm gonna need to be walking more. I may not wanna carry the camera in my hand the whole time, but I don't wanna carry that big heavy backpack. So that time I took uh, my, my low pro shoulder bag. Let me show it to you, hold on. With this shoulder bag, it, it looks kind of like a, a pocketbook, um, but inside I can have my whole camera, I can have an additional large lens. I have my phone in here. I usually have a, a bag with spare batteries. Um, I can even have a water bottle in there. So on the second day, I used that low pro, um, I used the low bag and I followed the parade and I was able to run along back and forth. Here's some of my favorite pictures. I love this one that really shows the band right up there in close with the crowd. I love this one that just shows the human emotion. Actually, here's a whole bunch of them that just show the band doing their thing and feeling great about it. I love this one just for the sort of the composition of it. And I also tried to get portraits of a lot of the band members so they would have those. These team shots, honestly, these pose team shots in any circumstance, they make me nervous because you know everybody's counting on you to get them. They've all seen you take the shot, and if the shot doesn't work, it doesn't work. And why wouldn't the shot work? Well, my camera doesn't work very well, uh, and it shorts out sometimes. It just switches, randomly switches settings mid-shoot, so um, that's something I had to figure out. But, I, I mean, I want to say this. I'm really happy with the photos I took, and... Um, I did have a really nice lens. It's an expensive lens, but um, I did not have the best equipment by any means. Um, and that didn't really affect the results. <laughs>